Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Observer and um, we are here in some kind of a maze what I until now actually could not figure out whatever that was but what I've what I've actually noticed is that we have a little monitor here and I think it always changes the picture doesn't it? Alright, there was a trash can right there, so I figure out, let's just try out going through here, going here, and it actually has changed, so I hope that that shows us actually the way through the maze, that is what I really hope, so here we have the table, I go through to the center section again, now it hopefully shows me the way to go and it is the one with the blinking light so I would say it's that one so I will just go through here and now something with cables I figure this one and then is there an what the all right that seems to be an interrogation room or something. Fucking slop again. All right, whatever. I dig in. It's not getting any better. Can I get out? What? Can we get out of here at some point? Alright, that's really, really weird, I tell you. And where do we actually arrive? So at least we found a way through the maze. There seem to be dogs coming at us, so let us try to run away from them noises which didn't seem to work out too too good I guess well there we are again in some sort of a train or something maybe a subway can I do anything and there are again the war pictures of whether they are and now we are in a jail oh man this is really really weird I didn't expect such a weird game to be completely honest with you but that's nice for change what does he want Move. Move what is if we go ahead okay we can't go this way I figure we can't go in here as well so let's just follow the security officer, police officer, whatever he is. We can't go left uh, or right because I guess we are going to be punched away there. And of course we are going to take a look. So there are just guys sitting in there as expected. Okay, now we are at a new level here. The jumps are a little bit weird, I tell you. Yeah, whatever you can smell, I don't know. Yes, I would like to go away from this place as well. This is so weird. What I think is the most disorientating thing in this game is actually the jumps that you always you do not know what is actually going on but I have to let say the atmosphere is really out. really cool it is so harsh and you at least I feel like I'm actually a little bit in it so that is what a game should do getting you into the mood and it, I think this game does really well. 
fire today. You're in my world now. So I'm going through the clothing there. I hope. Come on, go. It's just a toilet. So let's flush. Anything here? That is the question at hand. No, not really. I can't do anything. So. Fuck yes! Finally. So he's taking drugs. I don't know what to say. <laughs> what? All right, let's then. What the fuck? Move. On here, we can't get through any door. And now that one is open, so we'll try to go through. Can I close it behind me? Um, is there a monster or something? Amir, do you remember the night we met? It's hard to forget. Right, that's a strange change of location. So I think we have to get this way. Are you scared of me? No, I can see right through you. I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos, you were like a big wounded animal, lost, alone. Hey, at least you know what you were getting into. Yeah, I guess, I guess I did. did. Alright. Oh man, this is such a weird game. Checked in tattoo shop, alright. Jekyll. Okay. Um, no, that's a door. And let's go just through it. But I like the scenery. And in health, forsaking all others. To have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part. Any regrets? No. And I think that's a really cool way to tell a story, I tell you. This is something I have like that not experienced before or when not very often i don't remember such a weird storytelling maybe hellblade um if you know that game had such a weird storytelling as well which i think is absolutely amazing all right i'll just try that again although i guess it's not going to work all right can't go in there then let's go here works <laughs> Now, can we go the other way now? Do we have to go in the other way? That, of course, is the next question. Or do we have to turn? All right, then I guess we have to turn it around all the way. I thought the signal there was actually giving us a hint, but obviously not. What the? All right, I need to spin the mouse. Okay. That is 
really weird to do, I tell you. Don't spin it! I guess that's way better on... I don't know whether this game has been released on console. So I can go through. Alright, next room. Which seems to be re... Oh, what the... Whatever that was. And there seems to be a monster of some kind. I actually would like to go into that direction, but I guess we have to follow this rear television there. So what do we have here? You can do it. I know you can. Has this something to do with, you know, truck related stuff? You know, going through you getting rid of trucks. Could that be You can do it. I know you can. This is so strange. So I'm just still following the TV in the hope that that is actually the right thing to do. You're to Which it was. And then here we have a door. Open it up. This is pretty damn huge amounts of trash. Next door. I remember this place, I think. From being there. No, do I? I don't know. So, come on, let's turn that around. Um. What the hell? What do I have to do? Do I need to turn that around? So, I have no clue. Oh, what a strange game. I know it's the third time I think I say it, but it is a really strange mood this game delivers to me right now. Yeah, just go on. Can we sprint a little bit at least? Okay, I thought we have to go to the light, obviously not. <laughs> Alright, there's definitely a monster. And it looks so weird. Alright, there we are again in the real world of this game. Girl interrogation aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Emergency extraction procedure successful. So that dude is dead, and what about just now taking the synchronization thingy there? Alright, case lock updated, but I will, before we look into there, I will take the medicine. Synchrosine injected, strain level decreased. Refilled. So let's quickly take a look here. Option to create the neighbors, the nearby tenants might give some additional intel. Option to investigate the crimes, investigate the crimes. It might be a good idea to scan the Norwalk apartment for any additional clues. And then that we are still going to do, guys. With that, we are actually at the end of this episode. And um, you know, you can say it was a little shorter one, but I think right now it is good. We find a way. We found a way through the labyrinth, which was really, really weird, and had a strange dream. We will go on with the investigation. I think we can investigate here, but that we will do in the next episode. For now, guys, I really thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And well, I will see you 
in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, stay frosty.